One, two, three, fuck it. Hi everyone, my name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Dobo Chobo. You read the title, we're going to be styling turtlenecks today and I'm so excited to share this video with you guys because personally, turtlenecks are just some of my favorite pieces of clothing to wear. I've been seeing them become a lot more trendy in the past year or so and they're such an essential part of a winter wardrobe and just for layering in general. So hopefully you leave this video with a little bit of inspiration for your next outfit. So yeah, let's get into it. But before we start styling them, we should probably think about the actual turtlenecks themselves. The main points being the material and style of the turtleneck. I fully believe in investing in quality pieces, especially basics like turtlenecks, because quality usually means longevity, and it'll pay off way more in the long run. This means fabric that is made with mostly natural fibers like silk, cotton, wool, and cashmere, which can get super expensive but you can actually find them at thrift stores pretty easily or even discount stores like PJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. The brand doesn't matter at all as long as you're looking for the little tag that says what the material is made of. But I also understand that it is a huge privilege to even have the money or time to find and buy quality clothing. So if you still wanna experiment with turtlenecks um, but you don't really have the means to afford it, I think it's totally fine if you get something cheaper at like H&M or Forever 21, but I would still recommend you try and look for the material. Okay, that was kind of long, but for layering, I think it's best to get turtlenecks that are more form-fitting like the one I'm wearing right now, so you can really pack on the layers without feeling too stuffy. For colors, I would recommend just a basic black turtleneck and maybe a white one. I have several variations here, but I personally prefer a beige one to the white um, just because I think it complements my skin tone better. I'm also going to be styling some patterned and colorful turtlenecks and even a fuzzy one because I'm just that quirky. Alright, we're going to start off by styling just simple turtleneck and jeans, but 15 different ways. tell by now but this segment is literally just me telling you to try layering a turtleneck under any article of clothing. Personally I do this with like every single outfit in the winter time and that is not an exaggeration because it just makes my outfit so much warmer with a little extra dimension that I really like the look of. I think I actually prefer wearing dresses with turtlenecks than without. Um, yeah, I'm just obsessed, guys. I can't help it. Excuse me, 
Señor. The key is to match the color of the turtleneck to a color on the dress or really just the general color scheme of the dress. It'll make the outfit a lot more cohesive and put together compared to just the dress on its own. Plus, you can continue wearing your cute summer dresses into the colder weather. And of course, you can always layer different jackets and coats over for some <laughs> juxtaposition action or, you know, just because it's the sensible thing to do. All right, this section is super short because I really don't have that many cute t-shirts. Um, but same with the dress, as long as you're matching the general color scheme of the shirt, the outfit will look put together. And to avoid looking like a five-year-old, I cinched in the waist with a contrasting belt for this outfit and even added the same fuzzy coat from earlier for extra coziness. Okay, we're almost done guys. I didn't really know what to call this last section, but it's basically skirts plus random outfits that I didn't have a category for. I love experimenting with different silhouettes and I think it's so fun how just deciding whether to tuck or untuck your shirt can give your outfit a totally different look. <laughs>